Hey tech lovers, I'm just chilling on the sofa today because I've been testing this, the ASUS TUF 504G gaming laptop. This was sent to me by AO.com to review. Thank you very much, guys. This has got a 15.6 inch screen. It's powered by a GeForce GTX 1050 2 gig graphics card. And it has an eighth generation Intel i5 quad core processor, eight gig of RAM, and one terabyte of hard drive space. Now this comes with Windows Home pre-installed. You have to go through the setup to get this up and running. And after that, you'll be left with uh, probably, probably about 800 gigabytes of storage space. One thing I would say is the performance of the laptop wasn't fantastic the first couple of days I was using it. And that's because Windows had to do a lot of updates. So I recommend if you do get this, power it on, go to the Windows Update section and let it do its thing because it takes a while, but once it's clear, you'll notice the performance improves massively. Now you can see the laptop's not the thinnest laptop on the market, but it's not too big either. It is, it is fairly heavy. You will notice it in your backpack if you're gonna take it around. And you will, if you're taking this around to a friend's house, you will need to take the power pack with you. The battery life I found to be pretty poor on this. It's, uh, it's given me maybe four hours of battery life, um, but it is a gaming laptop, so you're probably gonna be plugging it in. In terms of the general aesthetics, I mean, it's quite a plasticky looking laptop and it feels quite plasticky. It has this lovely red trim to it and that follows through onto the keyboard. I really liked the keyboard for typing on because not only was it nice and smooth to type on, but it also had a numerical keypad off to the right. The trackpad works well and you've also got ports down the side. You've got three USB ports, a HDMI out and a network port. Unfortunately, there's no SD card slot on this. So if you're thinking about getting a laptop to maybe edit photos or video, you will need to get them onto your laptop via a different method rather than just popping the card straight in. With all the USB ports and HDMI ports, I had wondered if it might be possible to use the Oculus Rift with this laptop and went about trying it out. But for some reason, it wasn't picking up the HDMI connection. When I looked into this, I found out that on laptops, you need a dedicated VR laptop because the HDMI on laptops is generally uh, not plugged into the dedicated graphics card. It's normally to the onboard graphics and therefore you can't use this with VR. Being a gaming laptop, I obviously had to do some gaming to test this out, and I found it generally worked very well. Rocket League looked superb on this, ran very smoothly, and this is a great laptop if you're gonna pick it up, go around to someone's house and have a blast, bit of a multiplayer game. I also gave No Man's Sky a quick blast, and it played perfectly fine. It struggled a little bit when I experimented with the settings, putting them on ultra, but if you use the recommended settings, it's perfectly playable. So it does have a webcam built in, it should be 720p and I'm just taking it for a little walk around now, see how it copes, so we're moving into a darker area. It's a nice large screen if you are doing conferences, I can see myself quite clearly. If you had a few people split screen, that would be nice and easy to see as well. I'm not expecting the quality to be as good as dedicated webcam, but actually it's looking okay. Let me know what do you think in the comments below. Is it a good webcam? If you're a subscriber to my channel, you may have seen me use this laptop in my last video to compare a little speaker sound quality with the laptop speaker quality. The laptop speakers are, as you'd expect from a laptop, they're fairly tinny. It's a gaming laptop. You're probably gonna be using gaming headphones, but they do do the job. The screen's a really good size for a range of things, whether it's gaming, watching films, or just doing a bit of work. And of course, having the USB port means you can always plug in an additional mouse if you prefer not to use the trackpad. Overall, they've done a good job with the laptop. I love the consistent styling. The red and black work really well together. The screen looks good, and it's a decent little game player. There are two major down points to this laptop. The battery life is pretty poor, and there's no solid state drive included. If you're in the market for a gaming laptop, you might want to check out these gaming headsets to go with your laptop. 
If you haven't already, why not click subscribe and join my tech tribe. I'll see you on the next video.